Welcome to the Necron Tomb World. It would appear a visitor has come from the planet Mars in the shape of the Void Dragon. Necron Catan versus Space Wolves. Warhammer 40k Battle Report. It's coming right up. Necrons! Nick speaking and welcome to this video and if you're new to the channel and you would like to keep up to date with the wonders of Warhammer 40k then please subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss an upload. Right today I'm here with Richard from Capitan Morgan's War Games. There's a link to his channel in the description below make sure you head on over and give him a sub too and we are going to be playing the Necron Catan list I recently posted about against Space Wolves. Not only that but in an ITC mission. So let's have a look at the Space Wolves army first. Okay so we're gonna have a look at the Space Wolves army. Richard welcome to the channel. Oh, I had not to be back. It's been a long time. It has indeed. I'm really looking forward to this. So what have you got in your army? Oh, I've got a battalion and I've got a spearhead. In the spearhead I've got my warlord and his is Adris Bearclaw. He's got the Warlord Trait Hunter, which allows him to advance and, and charge in the same turn. Then I've got three lots of long fangs each. Uh, unit of long, long fangs have two las cannons, missile launcher and plasma cannon, with a pack leader with bolt pistol and chainsword. Moving over to my battalion, I have Nihau Stormcaller. I have two Rune Priests and some Orphan in the Storm Wolf. Then I have, filling out the troop slots, three lots of Grey Hunters, five man units, uh, all bolt pistols and bolt, bolt guns, and a ten man intercessor unit. I'm hoping that bolt or all, beta or all will be quite useful. And that's it. That's it. And some, uh, some uh, Fenrisian wolves. Fenrisian wolves, can't forget uh, the wolves, can they? Uh, uh, as a uh, fast attack choice. Okay. okay, here is my Necron army. We are in the Sotek dynasty, and I've got an Outrider detachment. Heading up the force is Orican. The little mini Catan behind him is for when he becomes empowered. And then we have the Deceiver and the Nightbringer in the Elite slot. In the heavy support, we have two Transcendent Catans, the Void Dragon and Mr. Robot. And then we have two squads of three Wraiths in the fast attack slot. And then we have one squad of three Scarabs and two squads of seven Scarabs. Then we have a super heavy auxiliary detachment, the Necron Tesseract Vault. And that comes in at 1,999 points and gives me four CPs. Okay, so that's my army. Now I'm gonna roll for the Fractured Personality. I'm actually going to choose my powers for the Void Dragon. He's got that lightning coming out of his hand. I want him to be a shooty one. So I'm gonna go for Cosmic Tyrant, which means he can use two, two powers of the Catan. Uh, the other one, Mr. Robot, he's gonna have a Fractured Personality and it's gonna be random. So let's roll and see what we've got. A six and a five, that's probably the worst two. Uh, oh well, so he's got reroll fouled wound rolls for this model in the fight phase and enemy units do not receive bonuses for their saving throws for being in cover whilst they are within 12 inches of this model. Definitely the worst two, however, that's what happens when you go for random. Right, let's get on with the game. Okay, so we're playing Precious Cargo, which is four objectives. One of the objectives is going to be needed to be defended a little bit more because if your enemy gets on it it's worth an extra point and the objectives are fixed where they have to be and they have to be on the ground floor so we've got one just there one over here and then we've got one over in this corner in between that generator and the one in my deployment zone just here of course I have deployed I've got three scarabs there the deceiver just there then I've got the Wraiths, Scarabs and two Catans there, the Bolt just there, and Orokin, the Catan, Wraiths and Scarabs just that side. So this is fixed six turns and we score a point at the end of each turn, is it? Uh, we score a point 
if you hold an objective at the end of a player turn and if you've killed a unit at the end of a player turn and then at the end of the battle round if you hold more and killed more you score points as well right so lots of points basically on and offer then, then your second revolution okay so this is the first time i've played the current itc mission so it's going to be a lot of fun let's find out Who's going to go first? Okay, so we're just going to roll off to see who goes first. Uh, but first of all, we had to pick our secondary objectives. So I chose Old School, Marked for Death. I chose four units, three Long Feng units and the Primaris Intercessors. Then Marked for Death, earning me points if I kill them. And then Head Hunter. Richard chose Recon, Titan Slayer and Head Hunter as well. So... Let's roll off and see who's going to go first. Richard gets plus one. He rolls a six. He's definitely going to go first. Okay, so now I'm going to try and seize for the initiative. A five, not quite. Okay, so before we get started, we need to find out if the deceiver is going to be moving any units. So we roll a dice, D3 units plus himself. So he can actually move three units plus himself. Interesting. Let's see what I do. Right, okay, I've done some serious moving here. So, I have moved a squad of Scarab Swarms, the Deceiver and Nightbringer, just there, and the Tesseract Vault, just there. So, I've definitely mixed things up in this game. I'm looking more vulnerable this side of the table, but to be fair, don't think I'm gonna get this objective too much in the game anyway, so. Very interesting, as we move in to Space Wolves, turn one. Right, turn one, movement phase for the Space Wolves, and I've definitely caught their attention. So, some massive movements from the Wolfen and the Rune Priests. I'm guessing out of here, the Wolfen ran six inches, and actually so did the Fenrisian Wolves. The Storm Wolf is just there. Like I said, I've definitely attracted their attention. Is my plan going to work? We did have to uh, move some of these long fangs to get them into uh, line of sight of the vault, which was obviously quite useful for my part. And Richard is now going to start his psychic phase. So, Richard, what have you got? Smite first. Smite first? From the first room priest. Okay. What yeah, do you need? Six. I needed a five. So right, okay, six. goes off. One mortal wound. That's on the uh, scarabs. scarabs, yep. Uh, next one does it. Goes off on the six. Yep. Two, Two mortal wounds, that's three. One scarab base gun. Okay, so now smite from the storm caller. Needs a seven now. Seven. Gets a seven, yep. Gets another two. Two more mortal wounds. Yeah. Cast from the rune priest Tempest Wrath onto the Wolfen. Let's uh, subtract one from any hit rolls for that unit. Okay. Goes off on the six. Gets, gets it. it, yeah. The other one's doing murderous hurricane. Hurricane. Yep. Walk charge value five. Yeah, get it. So, select a visible enemy unit 18. Well, did dice, one dice for each model in that unit, and each roll of six is a more. Okay. Got two, four, five in there, haven't you? Whether you're talking about the scarabs, yeah. should be six. Yeah, but one's gone, so... There was seven altogether, I've removed oh, one. Right, so yeah. Six. So hopefully, I'll get one six. No, no sixes. No sixes. Right, uh, I'm playing a command point, so obey now. Anything within six inches of the Psyker. Yeah. Now, now gets the uh, minus one to hit. Okay, so that's a stratagem, yeah? Yeah. One command point used. Yeah. Eight left. Okay. So Nihal is going to now do his two last two, and he's going to do Fury of the Wolf Spirits on himself if it goes off. Doesn't ah, but he can be well one psychic test, so he'll do that. He gets that. Yep. On the seven. Uh, He's you sure you're not playing Thousand Suns here? He's yes, <laughs> Frecky. He's got a, uh, this like a spiritual weapon, and it, it gives him six additional attacks. Okay. He's not going to make a charge here, but it's it's there. It's yeah. Just there. And living lightning on the 
closest visible unit, which is the scarabs. Yeah. Scarabs. I'm playing the stratagem for a point, which allows me to make it d6 rather than d3. D3. Okay. So I want this one to go off. <sighs> doesn't. Doesn't. Oh, does, does it add one to it, or just re-roll the one? Desperate times, we're going to check the rules. Yeah, desperate. No, just re roll one. Yes, add yeah. one to the D. Oh no, add one to any psychic test as well. Okay, so. so. This is a six. So it just goes off. Just goes off, okay. Right, it's a D6 rather than a. D6 mortal wounds. Four. Four. Any more psychic powers? That's it, all my psychic powers. Okay, done. psychic phase done. So two last cannon shots first, hitting on threes. Okay, so this is the Stormwolf shooting into the vault. Last cannons first. One misses. One misses. Does it wound? Yes, it wounds. Okay. It's minus three. Minus three, we'll get a four plus in vulnerable save. A six. So when he has Skyhammer missile, that's uh, heavy three. Add one to all hit rolls for this weapon against targets that can fly. So I'm hitting on two plus. Hits, yeah. Yep. Everything hits. Strength seven, toughness eight. Toughness seven. Seven is yeah. it, so fours. I will command by now ones. Yeah, three of them. Three. Okay, and that's minus. Minus one on that. Minus one, so be fours anyway. So three wounds, unless they do more damage. Three, three. Okay. So three, four, five, six. Six wounds. I'm going to use the focus beam, which is heavy two. It's hitting on threes. This is from. Still, still. So on this, no, the wolf thing. Yep. Yeah. So both hit strength eight. So hitting on wounding on threes. Doesn't wound. Uh, one, one minus four. So you it's straight up in wall. So. Not saved. D six. Two, two, two more. wounds, yeah. It's eight gone already. And then, if a model save, suffers any unsaved wounds from this, but it's not saying that, well, D6 on the six, the target suffers a mortal wound. No. No, not quite. So that's that done. Yep. Two las cannons and the missile launcher and the plasma cannon. Well, I'll do the two missile launchers into that first. Okay, so these are not the ones that move, no. no? Right. And because I've marked it, I can re-roll ones. So both hit. Okay. All right, I'm going to use this stratagem. And I'll, uh, I'll use it on this, this one to, to re-roll wounds against it. Right. So hit, wounding on threes. Both wound. Okay. Oh, from the last cannons anyway. So four plus in vuns. Saved one. Use a confrontation. Three. Three. Okay, next up. So use the plasma. Plasma cannon on the long, long thing is D3 shots. So I'll get one shot. Misses. Yep. Missile launcher. One shot. Hits. Wounds. That's minus three, isn't it? Something. Minus two, so. Minus two, so four up. Saved. That's him done. That unit. Second unit. One one of the last cannons moved. Yep. So I'll use it the blue dice for Okay. Him. Yep, fours on that one. Get to re-roll that one. And one that gets one. through, yep. Yeah. And then to wound. So threes. No. no. The missile launcher from that one. Didn't move, so no. Plasma cannon, D3 shots. Three shots, that's yep. handy. <laughs> Need all three two. Hit and out of wound. Plasma cannon's what? Strength sevens, yeah? Is it still? Strength eight. Strength eight, yeah? It's supercharged, yes. Oh, okay. So that 
hits and wounds, yep. but it's minus three. Okay, so um, vulnerable save. Saved. Yeah. So last squad, two les cannons. Miss. That's one that's not moved, is it? Yeah. Yeah. I was just checking if they're better in range of me how. And they are. Okay. So uh, can we roll those? One one gets through them. Yeah. Wounds. Yeah, wounds. So minus uh, yeah, four four plus in Von. Not quite that time. Hmm. Can I command point that? Nah. You have to roll really badly now. Ah, oh, five. It's not fair. Okay. Plasma cannon the thing can't see. So that's that shooting done. Mm-hmm. From them. So and I've done that. Uh, 16 wounds. 16 well. wounds, yeah. Now, first set of uh, long fangs. Yeah, long fangs. Uh, great hunters. Great hunters, yeah. Yeah, uh, not quite within 12, so it's only one shot, so he will fire. Okay. So, long fangs onto the so Wraith, right, Richard's favourite unit. Yeah. Three pluses. Oh, that's a good roll. Strength four, so fives. Nothing. I like them, they can come again. Next squad? Yep, there's 10 shots in this because they haven't moved with a bolt, bolt of bag of oars. So. Moving the twos, now fives. One. Ooh. One save, yeah? Yep. One three up in Vaughn. A one. You get a wound. Same for this squad. Yep. Stupid new beta rule. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Right. So now we get onto the intercessors. Yep. These nasty big squad of marines. Big so marines. I've got seven. I've got seven. Which going into to them. Row okay. through because I can't see them. Yeah. Okay. Do the 14 first. Yep. Mm, not too bad. Not too shabby. So I still need fives, but these are minus one. Okay, so the strength is the same, yeah? Strength yeah. four, but they're yeah. minus one. Uh, you've got four saves. Yeah, but you've got it. Anyway, I guess I... Uh, so that's a whole wraith killed. You're loving it, aren't you? Hey, huh? you're loving it. <laughs> oh, it's not. It's nice to wear that. We've all down. And then row three into. Yep, into the six, scarabs. Seven, yep. Two, six. That's minus one, yeah? yes. Yeah, be no saves then, yeah. So uh, one base gone. Anything else to shoot? No, uh, I don't think any house in range. Okay, we're going to check a few ranges, but we think that is the end of the shooting phase. Yeah, Let's see what happens out. in the assault phase. All out. Right, yeah. assault phase coming up. Okay, so the scarabs have been whittled down. We're now into the assault. First of all, the Wolf Lord against the Nightbringer. I've got my Gaze of Death. Yeah, you're awesome. Yeah. Not just scarabs, okay, the scarabs as well. Right, so Gaze of Death. So D6 shots. One. There you go. Um, and I need a six. A one. Hmm. Okay, assault range. It will be. Definitely in. So the first one is in. Okay, so Richard has declared a charge on all three units, yeah? Yeah. So how much do you need to get in? Right. Seven. And not nine to get to, uh, uh, eight to get to him. Right. So, but I can re roll failed charges. So Seven. that's enough to get in. I mean, it's so you're into the scarabs, scarabs basically, yeah? Yeah. Right. Okay, so first of all, we've got the Wolf Lord 
coming into the Nightbringer. Let's just move over this side where the dice tray is. So you get four attacks here. Yeah? Hitting on twos. It should be minus one for a Thunder Hammer. Right. Because of a Wolf Special rule on the t turn they ch charge, are charged, or perform a hero again to the Vengeance. They get plus one to hit rolls. Okay. So still hitting on two plus. Right, twos. Me rolling with minus four himself, all hit. Okay. So it's strength eight. Yeah, toughness seven. So three. 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 At minus three. Okay, so I got my four plus in Von. And I saved one of them. So that's six points of here, so three attacks. Okay, so now the uh, Wolven on the Nightbringer. So hitting on two. No, this is a wolf. His wolf. Oh, his wolf. Right, okay, so the wolf from the Wolf Lord. It's the real word. So all hit. All hit. Strength five, toughness seven. seven. So five. One goes through. Yep. So it's minus one, but it'll be easy. Saved. Saved. So, so now it's be with a wolfen. They'll we'll pile it in. Okay, so Wolven are going to pile it in. I'm going to try to get into the Nightbringer probably. He's only on two wounds now. He'll get in. Okay, they are and in. Hang on. Well, at least one of them is. So, three attacks. Okay, so now the Wolven. We've got two Wolven on the Nightbringer. Re rolling because of the uh, Lord. Re rolls anything, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So that's. Six. Six hits, and out of wound. Ten. They got their thunder hammers, have they? Yeah. Yeah. So they need. Um, Threes. So, three saves. Three involves. Four pluses. No, I fell. So, does he explode? Here we go, Nightbringer, does he explode? He does. Okay, so each unit within three inches suffers D3 mortal wounds. So the Wolfen get two mortal wounds. Right. On five plus. What's this? Feel no pain. Feel no pain? Are you joking me? No. Oh, okay. So one, two, <laughs> two wounds, I believe that's him dead. Yeah, so one dies. Okay, and then on the Wolf Lord. That's, uh, well, that's three. Three mortal wounds on the Wolf Lord. Four wounds left on the Wolf Lord, and then on the Deceiver, he gets two, which is one mortal wound, and then on the Scarabs, one mortal wound. So I fared quite well out of that. Okay, however, the Nightbringer is dead. Okay, so the rest of the Wolven killed all of the Scarabs. Obviously, that was quite easy to do, so I didn't video that. However, it's now time for the Deceiver, and he's gonna go against the Wolven. So we've got Four dice, we need twos all in. Okay, strength seven, so we need threes. So just two go through, and that's minus four AP. So three up in volt. Three up in and he makes both. Okay, so another stratagem being used, so that the Wolven can strike again. Yeah, and that puts me down to one command point left. One CP left, yeah. Okay, so 12 attacks coming in. We roll in those two. Everything. Everything hits, now to wound. Strength 10, toughness 6, 7. Toughness 7, yeah. Freeze. So, mm, I like that. It's not bad. So that's 9 minus 3. So 3 plus in roll. 4 plus in roll, yeah. 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay, so we've got nine saves to make. We have made one, two, three, four, five, six. No, just three wounds. How much damage each, though? Flat three, Flat yeah? Three, yeah. So that's nine. Okay, I might have to use a CP. Try and keep him alive. Okay, so we're going to re-roll one of these for a command point. Here we go. A three, no. He fails. He's definitely going to die, but is he going to explode? On a four plus, he does. So that's D3 mortal wounds on the Wolf Lord. He gets two mortal wounds. And on the Wolven, 
gets one mortal wound on the Wolven. And I believe that's your turnover. I get to consolidate again, yeah. Consolidate, uh, how many, yeah. One on the, one on the uh, Wolven. Oh yeah, they got feel no pain? No. No. Okay, so that's the end of the Space Wolves turn one. Okay, so Necron turn one. Necron! I've taken the bull by the horns, no holding back. I've moved the vault into this position here, in amongst the thick of it. Of course, gained one wound back from Living Metal, and I used the stratagem so I can use the top profile. In the meantime, I moved and advanced the Scarabs, Orican, and the Transcendent Catan, and I used a stratagem allowing me to advance and assault with the Wraiths just there. Over here, the Wraiths just moved towards this uh, unit of Grey Hunters, and the Void Dragon there. Uh, moved and advanced forward as well. And that's it, so we're going to move to the powers of the Catan. Okay, so we're going to do Antimatter Meteor on the Storm Wolf there from the Transcendent Catan. So on a 1 I miss, on a 2 plus I do D3 mortal wounds, and on a 6 I do D6 mortal wounds. And I rolled a 5, so D3 mortal wounds. That's two mortal wounds on the Storm Wolf. Okay, so next is the Void Dragon. He's going to use Seismic Assault on the Primaris Marines. So we've got ten Marines. So roll ten dice. Any sixes are mortal wounds. We've got two Necron Symbols. Two wounds each they have. Yeah. So yeah, so one. it's one dead. Okay, so Transdimensional Thunderbolt next from the Void Dragon, and he misses. Abysmal. Abysmal. Okay, next up is the Vault. Okay, so the Vault, first of all, is going to use Cosmic Fire. Any units within 9 inches take D3 Mortal Wounds on a 3+. plus. So Richard, quite a few units. So let's roll some dice. Where do you want to go first? Fenridian wolves. Fenridian wolves. They do, so D3 mortal wounds. That's two mortal wounds. Two wolves dead. Next, uh, Rune Priest. Uh, yep, yeah, Rune Priest. Yep. Yep, he takes D3 mortal wounds, so two wounds. Then Niall the Stormcaller. He does get hit and he takes one mortal wound. And then the second rune priest gets hit and has two mortal wounds. Okay, so next up at the back there, the wolf lord. Yeah. He does get hit and he takes three mortal wounds. He's got one left, I believe. Was he dead? He was on two. Ah, okay, so he is dead, that's handy. And then on the Wolven, yep, they get hit. One mortal wound from the Wolven, feel no pain? No? Nope. No, that's another wolf. Okay, and no. then some long fangs. Is it all three units? It's all three units. Okay, so units number one, you can point to which one it is. Well, we're doing it in order. Order, yeah. First one then, no, misses. Second one. Hits, D3, three mortal wounds, and then the last Long Fang squad doesn't get hit, and then the Intercessors, they don't get hit either. Okay, next power coming up. Okay, so next is going to be Seismic Assault on the Primaris Marines once again, so we're looking for sixes. We have two, so that's two more mortal wounds, one more dead. Okay, so next, Transdimensional Thunderbolt on the Flyer. So let's see what we can do. It does hit, and it takes, yep, so two Mortal Wounds, and then the Wolves, which I forgot to do last time, on a six, they take a Mortal Wound, they don't. Okay, so the shooting phase. I'm going to shoot the Vault. I'm going to split fire. I'm going to shoot two guns at the Intercessors and two guns at the Wolven just hiding on the other side of the vault. So first of all on the Wolven we need some sixes, we didn't get any sixes. Okay, strength seven, so we need threes, oh dear. Okay, so three saves with no minus AP. So two go 
two. That's one one dead. Feel no pain. No, nope, one dead. I'll take a come on, last command point, is it? Yeah, no. No? Okay. One. No command points left and a wolven down. Right, now on to the intercessors. Let's see if we can get some sixes this time. Okay, we get one six and we've got a couple of misses. Okay, so we need threes. Not and that's not a great roll either. Okay, so five saves on the intercessors. Just the one wound. Okay, we're now into the Necron Assault phase. I'm going to assault with these wraiths onto the Grey Hunters. Any overwatch? Okay, ten shots coming in, needing sixes. Oh, you can get the sixes alright, can't you, eh? Look Ooh. at that! Four sixes. That's not bad. <laughs> Fives? No. No. Okay, my assault range I should be in, but definitely in. And then over here, the race on the Venrisian Wolves. You definitely don't have guns there, do you? And I am in. Okay, so let's start over here. We've got the wraiths coming in, needing threes, and then threes again. Okay, not bad. There you go. So, minus two and two damage. That's how many five? Two, four, six. Minus two damage. Minus two, yeah. So that's three. Three dead. Okay, and then the wraiths over there against the little wolfies. So threes. And threes again. Okay, so that's four. No saves for them. Okay, the attack's backed. We just rolled this off of camera and there was no damage done. Now for the Fenrisian wolves. So how many wolves have you got, Rich, there? You've okay. got just a couple left. Four attacks. Fours, no, threes. Yeah, so two hit. Two wounds. Two wounds. Minus one. Minus one from wolves, eh? They've gone up in the world. Okay, so that's it, apart from morale. Well, that's it, these morale, they're dead. Four plus three, seven. The leadership's so fine. Okay, and the wolves are going to die. Yeah. Right, okay, that sums up the Necron turn one. So let's move in to the Space Wolves turn two. Okay, so that was the Space Wolves turn two. So what happened? This flyer moved up here, shot into the scarabs, and killed them all very easily. In the meantime, the Wolven and the Rune Priests all moved up. There's quite a few characters here, we'll talk about that in a minute. And they put their smite spam on my wraiths, taking my wraiths down to one wraith and killing a scarab swarm. Over here, the long fangs and intercessors shot into these wraiths here, taking one wraith out, and I've got one wraith on two wounds. And then the long fangs. There's not many long fangs left, we'll talk about that in a minute, but the long fangs did shoot at the vault, uh, which did explode, and it exploded 11 inches, killing the storm caller and a rune priest, killing two units of long fangs. Uh, nothing from here died, and then one of the intercessors died, and some grey hunters died as well. A massive explosion, actually giving me quite a few points with this ITC mission. The points are very close at the moment as we move in to Necrons turn two. Okay, so Necron turn two. So we worked out at the beginning of my turn I was two points up as I proceeded to move, to be fair, what little I've got left. Uh, so I moved the Transcendent Catan up and also the Wraith, the Wraith's moving all the way up here. My aim to assault and hopefully kill the Long Fangs, which I did, that gave me that objective, and also for killing the Long Fangs, one of the uh, secondary objective points. In the meantime, I used the Catan powers, uh, dishing out some mortal wounds on some of the Long Fangs and assaulting one of the units as well, killing that, uh, then consolidated into this unit. They attacked me back and took one wound off. 
Uh, over this side of the table, Orican was empowered. I rolled a one, empowering him. And I managed to get into assaults with the Wolven, killing the Wolven and also the Rune Priest, who's now down to one wound. Didn't quite kill him, and the Rune Priest uh, went into my Catans, and I saved everything. So, uh, at the end of that turn, after all the points were totted up, I'm now nine points in front, as we move into the Space Wolves, turn three. Okay, so turn three for the Space Wolves. The Stormfang moving here, getting in range to shoot the Catan, which he did, taking two wounds off of him. And then the Intercessors came up and assaulted my Wraiths, killing one Wraith and one wound off of the other Wraith. I killed one of these guys in return. Uh, these guys here trying to get the recon point, but just out of range to do that, in the, as the Rune Priest here fell back using his jump pack. Uh, from the assault, I then used his psychic powers to kill off a couple of scarab swarms. Richard managed to get one point for being on the objective over in that building as we move in to turn three for the Necrons. Okay, so that was Necron turn three. So the transcendent Catan turned around and headed towards the rune priest, taking him out with my powers of the Catan as Orican hid for his life on the objective just in there. And the Scarab Swarm's feeling a bit braver, assaulting the two Grey Hunters, killing one of them. And then over here, the Wraith just fell back, hiding behind the piece of terrain. They're all dead. These guys are left on the objective as the Transcendent Catan over here killed one Primaris Marine with the powers of the Catan and then assaulted and killed the other Grey Hunters just there. I'm forging forward on points as we move in to turn four for the Space Wolves. Okay, so turn four for the Space Wolves. The Stormfang moving up here, splitting fire, taking three wounds of that Catan and killing this one with its last cannons. I rolled for the fun of it to see if it exploded and it did, killing the Blood Angel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, over here, these guys just hunkered in on the objective, getting another point back. We haven't actually done this assault. So, two attacks. Two attacks. One wound. One wound, okay. Oh, you get, get a save anyway. Six uh, up. Oh, right, six up save. No, a one, right. Six and six. my assault's back. Come on, Scarabs. Okay, so, fours and fives. That's a good roll. Okay, so four saves on your one guy. Can he survive? Ooh. <laughs> Three sixes, but a two. He was going for glory. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, he's obviously died in the assault. And that was it. So Richard uh, pulled a few points back there. Uh, I think there's about six points. I'm um, six points ahead, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, six points ahead as we move in to the Necron turn four. Okay, so Necron turn four. Oricon just standing on the objective. I need to basically kill these three intercessors uh, just to basically wipe out the army because obviously the flyer will disappear if that happens. So I move the Transcendent Catan up using Antimatter Meteor, taking one wound off a Primaris Marine. The Wraith Umanard about coming out, but in the end decided just to stay behind the piece of terrain. One of my secondary objectives is going to be Line Breaker. And then I assaulted with the Scarabs, but I did no damage and I lost a base in return. Uh, so we're running now at 15 points to the Space Wolves, 22 points for the Necrons. As we move into turn five, this mission is fixed at six turns, so definitely more to come. Okay, so turn five for the Space Wolves. The Flyer moving here, getting line of sight on Orican and taking three wounds off of Orican. He's down to four wounds now. Over this side of the table, we went straight into the salt. Hello, Richard. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I basically did no damage, and Richard did one wound after I rolled three sixes for my saves. And that was the end of Richard's turn, gaining one point back for being an objective. 
And now we go into turn five for the Necrons. Okay, so Necron turn five. Didn't do a great deal. Transcendent Catan managed to get into close combat with the Primaris Marines, killing one with his power of Catan and then killing another one in the assault. The Scarabs just needed to kill one Primaris Marine. They did take one wound off of him, so that's all he's got now is one Marine on one wound. We both got a point for being on objectives, and that is it. We're moving in now to the last turn, turn six for the Space Wolves. Okay, so the Space Wolves last turn, turn six. The Primaris Marine falling back out of combat. The big plan to kill this guy here, explode him and kill the Scarabs, and also take out Orican. The first two last cannons rolled a double one to hit, totally missing. Uh, however, the rest of the guns did take out Orican, earning a good few points for the Space Wolves. And that was turn six for the Space Wolves. Let's move quickly in to turn six, the last turn for the Necrons. Okay, it's turn six for the Necrons. I just have to kill this one Primaris Marine on one wound. The Wraith has finally come out. We're surrounding him. I'm gonna start off with the Antimatter Meteor from the T Catan. So, on a two or more, we get D3 mortal wounds. It's all over, Richard, even with a one. He's dead. A victory for the Necrons. Thanks very much, Richard, for a fantastic okay. game. We're gonna add up the points. Shall I get 19? 19 for you. And you get 18. 18 for me. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, seventeen. Got nine breaking in there, yeah. And that's twenty-nine. For you. Twenty-nine. Nineteen. Well, there you go. What an awesome game. Very brilliant. Yeah. If this camera is very heavy with my left hand, <laughs> so let me just like. It's going to look funny, but who cares? So yeah, really, really enjoyed that. Yeah, it brilliant. Was, um, Backwards and forwards. Yeah, I think the vault exploding. Well, really yeah, really um, made a difference. I mean, the, the, the two two things in this is that your Catan powers can't be denied, and that eleven-inch explosion on on the vault taking out. You took out a rune priest. You took out Nihau. You took out. Two squads of long two fangs. Two squads of long, long fangs. You took out quite a big chunk of my. Uh, uh, Wolfen, yeah, uh, uh, and that just did me. You took two, 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 two to three Wolfen out. So. I think it just shows you that it's well worth getting the vaults so up close and personal, rather yeah. than holding it back. Yeah, uh, 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 and as I said, I mean, damn, this is heavy. This <laughs> camera, <laughs> this, this, this list I, I use against Pete because it's probably the weakest form list oh, all the ones I've got. got yeah. and he plays Ultramarines and I still beat him with this. For it to have done so well, knowing that... And you knew what I was going to take as well, so you yeah. had some pre-plans, didn't you, as well? Yeah, and, uh, and because I, I was hoping that you'd go one way, and you did come that way, yeah. I was hoping you'd bring something different than the vault over and I could take the long pot shots at it, but yeah. you didn't. The vault, I had to get the vault close because yeah. my, my aim was to target the long things because yeah. uh, of all the, you know, all the high damage yeah. weapons. Yeah. So I had to get close because I had nothing else really to, to deal with them. So yeah. I get the vault in. I've got the Tesla, I've got all the powers, try and get rid of the long things. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't cool. expecting uh, such a big distance on your Wolfen and stuff coming over there. Yeah. But I thought so that probably in the end worked to my favour, just drawing, yeah, yeah, just drawing yeah, me back, didn't I? Yeah. Um, ITC emissions, very interesting. Yeah, I love, I, I love the format. It, I mean, I still don't think it's quite, quite yeah. there, but... There's mm. so many ways to earn points, yeah. isn't there, that literally... I mean, you're just grabbing points for everything, pretty much. Yeah, and and if you if if you think about it a bit more, you you could probably score more in the first couple couple turns. But I was more worried about trying to to get the killing points rather yeah. than the objective points, which possibly 
It, like, everything's dying now, the camera, yeah. the, the lights just died. Po possibly work, didn't work in my favour, but I, I think the biggest thing was the vault, vault fire. Vault exploding, if it, wasn't it? Vault hadn't exploded that far, yeah. I'd have still had long things. You'd have had more force to deal yeah. with the rest of my army, wouldn't you? So yeah. it made a huge difference. Anyway, that is the end of the game. Yeah, brilliant, so, thank yeah, you. Yeah, thanks again. And I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring the wolves again and again just surrapped it this time. Wolves again. Sounds good. <whistles> Beam me up. Nick speaking and welcome to this battle report. Right today, Necrons, my Catan list versus Space Wolves. I'm here with Richard from Capitan Morgan's War Games. There's a link to his channel in the description below. Make sure you head on over there and give him a sub. And if you're not subscribed to me yet, and you want to keep up to date with the wonders of Warhammer 40k, and that's rubbish. So we're starting again.